Hello Crestwood, um, short little video, I just want to talk to you very quickly about Duke of Edinburgh, um, a few different things. Number one, Duke of Edinburgh, you can still be working towards your award and if you haven't signed up to Duke of Edinburgh yet, you can still sign up to Duke of Edinburgh um, and start working to your award now. Um, I also want to talk to you about why you should consider doing the Duke of Edinburgh award um, and what you could be doing for your different sections. You might be thinking, why is they talking about DB when we can't go on expedition? Well, DB expedition is just one one part out of four of DB, and actually, you can be getting on with three parts whilst we're in lockdown: the volunteering, the physical, and the skill. So, why should you do DB? Um, here's a quote from Miss Bradley. I completed my DAV bronze and silver many, many years ago and still talk about the experiences with my teammates. By enduring and sharing the trials, tribulations and joy of a DAV, a bond that has lasted 40 years has been created. Like many, the expedition will live forever in my memory. Some inspirational quotes from previous participants um, from Crestwood. I found the Duke of Edinburgh a very rewarding experience. The expedition allowed me to achieve more than I thought I could with my friends. We all pushed ourselves and learnt a lot about perseverance, inner strength and friendship. Another quote. My volunteering was great. I learnt lots of people skills interacting with the public. My physical was running and this helped me to complete the expedition. My skills was also fun. Cooking allowed me to be independent and gave me life skills needed for the future. So Duke Venera is a great way to push your boundaries, um, to learn new skills and talents, to learn something about yourself. Um, it's also recognised by employers and colleges and universities the world over. Having the DB qualification tells employers something about you and something positive. It tells them that you are hardworking and that you're willing to, to put in the extra effort and the extra hours. It will help you get employed, it will help you get into college, it will help you get into university. So Jig Venebra is made out of four different sections. The only section we can't complete at the minute is the expedition section, but we can all be working towards the skill, the physical and the volunteering. So um, I want to give you some ideas for what you could be doing for those different sections. Idea for a skill. Um, rock identification. Idea for a skill. Tree identification. Idea for a skill, writing, could be writing anything, poetry, songs, sonnets, novels, short stories, sci-fi. Idea for a skill, photography, in your garden, on your daily walks, in your house. Idea for a skill, learn a musical instrument. Many of you will have musical instruments around the house that either are being used by someone else or no one ever uses them. Learn it, get on YouTube, get on Google, Get some lessons, find some lessons, find some hints, find some techniques. Here for a skill. Train your dog. Seb, come here. Come here. Come here. Seb. Come here. Seb. Sit down. Idea for physical any kind of physical activity that you can do in your garden for an hour a week and that could be you know 10 minutes a day it doesn't have to be an hour in one go 10 minutes of skipping every day of the week done 10 minutes of taekwondo 10 minutes of um judo idea for a physical activity bike riding yoga idea for volunteering get on the internet google youtube Find out how to make um, bird feeders by recycling your rubbish at home. Um, spend an hour a week making bird feeders and then give those out to the local community. Put them in your own gardens. I'll take some. Put them at school. Idea for volunteering. Do a weekly litter pick. Idea for volunteering. Walk an elderly person's dog. What are the next steps? What do you need to do next? If you um, are already signed up for DAB, Keep going, keep doing your different sections, keep making sure that you are taking photographs, collecting evidence, um, and then uploading that onto the EDV website. If you haven't signed up, but you would like to sign up, please get onto the school website. There is a letter on there that you can download, um, fill it in, 
Um, get your parents to email it back to school, um, back to my address. My email address will be fine. There is a cost involved. So to get you registered with the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme is £22. So I will need you to pay £22 via parent pay. Once we do the expeditions, there will be further cost um, to pay towards the expedition as well. So transport and camping, etc., and equipment. Um, and that's around £100. Um, but for now, all I need is £22. Then I can buy your place with the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme. Okay. Um, I would like to make this a, a, a massive bump a year. I want to get as many of you guys involved in Duke of Edinburgh as possible so that when lockdown is lifted and we can go on the expedition, the expedition could be a, a celebration of returning back to normality. And what better way to celebrate being allowed back out with our mates than loads of us going on expedition, exploring the British countryside in the great weather that we're having at the minute, hopefully. Um, and, and celebrating in that way and just having a camp with your mates. What better way to celebrate um, the end of lockdown? So let's get as many staff and as many students involved as possible. Um, come on, Crestwood. Come on, DV. Um, so a few things have changed since I made the original video. Number one, you're not going to be able to download the letter and fill it in. But just go and have a look at it and follow the instructions if you want to register. Number two, you're now allowed to do volunteering for um, a family member. Um, but make sure it's a family member in need. It can't be something like doing the washing up because you should be doing that anyway. But you could be helping um, a, a younger sibling um, with their home learning, something like that. Um, there's loads of information on the school website on DAV, so go and check that out. There's also a link to the DAV website. Um, follow that, they've got loads of ideas for what you can be doing for your different sections. So go and check that out as well.